All right, so I'm hooking up this controller, new solar controller I have here. Um, this is the old one. This is the new uh, uh, 3000i. And basically, it's easy. You just take where it says battery negative, you go to battery negative there. And then battery positive here, we'll go to battery positive here. Then you have PV positive and negative. Those will go to the corresponding ones here. So super, super simple to do. Um, I don't know if I have a place to set my phone, but... <clears throat> These cables do pull out of the wall further than... Uh... Further than you think they do. really like the way these fit into this new solar controller a whole lot better. And if you don't know, the reason I'm making this switch is because this old solar controller um, is a different type. Uh, MPPT is the new one. This old one is not that. Uh, and it actually limits the amount of charging uh, your solar panel will do. So I have the pop top, so I have 220 watts, and it actually limits it put this one up, um, <clears throat> to about 100 watts, I believe. So this is going to make a really, really big difference with my charging capacity for solar. took a picture of all this before I started this in case I needed to reference anything but that is PV negative this one is I didn't turn anything off, so everything is still live right now, so I'm trying to be very careful. Let me go ahead and tighten that down so it doesn't come out. It doesn't it doesn't fit just right in here it's a little off like that you can still get it screwed in but I'll probably make a little black plate behind it but 
And this other one, I'm not going to screw this in yet because I've got this touchscreen one that I'm going to put right below it down here. And it's just, you connect it with that. You can hook it up to give you a lot more information. I'm not going to fool with all that. But, um, but you know what? I'm going to do that right now because I do have a cable for that. And I'm just I'm not going to put it in the wall yet. But I want to see what kind of information it gives me. <clears throat> shows us we are going to Current charging is 5.8. Charging power is 72 watts. So it's my battery voltage. So what I did is I went into the settings up here and I clicked on charge profile, selected this, and hit set. And then go back. I went into system settings, I set my battery capacity, and I changed this to Fahrenheit and everything showed up here that'll shut off after a minute and you can just tap the screen to turn it back on this controller shows me my current input current and charging current system day since full charge all right what I'm gonna do I'm gonna turn the air back off and just let this charge and then tomorrow I'm gonna cut the hole for this and get this set up I need to figure out what to do about the some type of plate to put behind there so very very happy So I just remembered I had these pieces of plastic that I'm going to cut with that big there. I'll cut this to put behind my solar controller. Um, I had bought these for another project and used one of them. Have some left over, so this is what I'll use. I'll work on that tomorrow. All right, so I just use my knife and cut out a panel that I'm going to put behind. The other solar controller. Again, I used a made it a little bit bigger than this on the outside, which is fine. And then the inside piece, I used the dimensions and made a paper template and just cut out that size, so it's ready to go. Well, I made a little another little template according to the instructions for this thing. And I drew on the wall, made it, made my uh, area where I'm going to cut out. Make sure there's no wires back here. 
and drilled four holes. Now I'm going to use my saw here to make these four cuts and then I'll mount the uh, touch screen. So a little ran into a little problem. I can't get my saw here to get in that hole. So I'm going to use my cutoff wheel. Hopefully that'll work. I got around the size on the bottom. The, sorry, the size on the top though. Well, that worked, but I had a little bit of a mishap here. I'll have to fill that. And we'll go ahead and hook all this stuff up. See how it looks. Hopefully it looks halfway decent. All right, so that's in. This cover twisted a little bit. This plate behind it twisted a little bit just because it's thin plastic. I didn't drill holes in it first. If I did that, then we would have been fine. Um, same at the bottom, but look at that, I'm at 156 watts. The last one was limited at about 100. So then I had this little cover that goes over it. So that's all you see in my little faux pas there. Faux pas. So that's how that looks. That's pretty nice.